Hey, what's up? It's your boy Grizz from cypherstyles.com at Street Dance. I'm going to teach you how to do the six step. It's called that because it's got six steps. You're going to start off in a crab walk. Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, step six. Before you try to get it on the floor, if you get the footwork down standing, it'll be a much easier transition. So I'm going to show you what the footwork is standing, and then you'll take it down to the ground, do it in a push-up and crab walk position. The footwork standing, you start off here with your feet shoulder width apart. You're going to bring one foot across the other, step the other leg back behind you, and back open, cross one leg in front, step the back leg forward, and open. So it goes cross, step back, open, cross, step forward, open, cross, step back, open, cross, step forward, open. I'm going to show you the same thing from the back so you can follow along. I'm going to cross my right foot in front of my left ankle, step my left foot back, then step my right foot back to shoulder width apart. Then I step my left foot in front of my right ankle. Step my right foot forward. Then step my left foot being back to open. So six steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. And when we take it to the ground, it's going to be the same thing. We go one, two, three, four, five, six. And just like we did when we were standing, cross our right foot in front of our left ankle, step our left foot back, open, step our left foot in front of our right ankle, right ankle forward, open. So Cross, step back, open, cross, step forward, open. Uh, before you try this move, you already want to be real comfortable just in a push-up position and a crab walk. Um, you're basically going to be alternating between the two. So first things first, you want to be able to go from a crab walk to a push-up position, crab walk, push-up position. Um, before you try this move, just drill that, get great at that switch. Um, what we're going to be doing for the sixth step is walking between those two positions. So we start out in a crab walk here. We're going to step one foot in front of the other ankle, step the other foot back out to the side, then step out into a crunch push-up, then step other leg front, other leg back, back into the crab walk. I'll show you from the back so you can follow along. So we're in a crab walk. We're going to put our right foot in front of our left ankle. Then we bring our left foot out to our left side. And we're going to reach out into a push-up. Step our left foot in front of our right ankle. Step our right foot back behind our left ankle then open back up into a crab walk. One more time so you can follow along. We're going to step our right foot in front of our left ankle, left foot back. Then we're going to step into a crunch push-up position. Step our left foot in front of our right, right foot behind left ankle, then open back up into a crab walk. So let me give you some tips with the six step. They're going to make it a little bit easier. Um, you know, it's called the six step because it's got six steps. And if you, uh, as you're doing each one of the steps, say it out loud, you're going to have a much easier time uh, learning it quickly and you won't get lost. So if you say right foot in front of left ankle, left ankle back, push up, and you say each part of the move as you do it, it's going to stick a lot faster and you won't find yourself getting lost as you're learning the move. Um, 
isolating each part is great. If, uh, if there's one particular part of the move you get tripped up on, maybe you're fine getting to the push-up position, but here you keep forgetting what to do. Just drill that. Just practice the one part that's slowing you down. You don't have to run through the whole move. And um, in terms of balance, you know, you always want to be lifting. Uh, sorry, you always want to be leaning onto the hand that's down. So if I'm being supported with this arm, I want to lean my whole upper body over that side. Like I said before, if you have trouble, just practice drilling, switching from a uh, push-up position to a crab walk. And, um, you know, don't, don't try to rush the move too much. As you get comfortable, you'll be able to fly through it. Uh, you can keep, you know, your hips up and just be like lightning, racing through the move. But the slower you do it, the more you isolate each movement, the faster you're going to get good at it. So just start out taking it real slow. And um, let's try it with a nice little half-speed count, and then we'll do it full speed to the music. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. If that felt good, let's try it full speed to the music. If you need a little bit more time, run through the lesson again. When you feel like you're ready, let's do the whole thing full speed. Mm -hmm.